Once again, he is free. After having been incarcerated for the past 18 months in this detention center in the middle of the Negev desert, Musa has finally been released. He had arrived in Israel in 2008, fleeing Sudan and the war in Darfur. Because, you know, I guess I'm not feeling I'm really sad. I don't have that uh, uh, free because I don't, I don't know where I'm going right now. Just like Musa, another 1,000 refugees benefited from the court decision, stating that immigrants cannot be detained in Cholot for more than one year. Migrants from Africa that are seeking asylum in Israel are forbidden to enter both Tel Aviv and Eilat, a restriction issued by the Ministry of the Interior and written in capital letters on the identification documents that each migrant receives once freed. But this is not my problem. This is the problem of the government. Government, when we release from here, they will send us where? Because if, if you want to send me somewhere, tell me where I'm going. Somewhere indeed, but where? Neither in Tel Aviv nor in Elat. In fact, each migrant freed as part of the court decision, but who was arrested in Elat or Tel Aviv is to be sent directly to Suharonim, a traditional prison located right in front of the Cholot detention center. According to this human rights activist, this decision only reinforces the government's strategy. It is a perfectly well thought decision that writes itself in the continuity of what is happening in Cholot. Israel has but one goal in this matter, to make the migrants leave Israel voluntarily by making their lives miserable. A rather fruitful political agenda. According to the Ministry of the Interior, 8,335 asylum seekers have left Israel over the past two years. A real shortfall for Israel, if we believe this hotel employee who came from Cholot looking for work. I'm interviewing potential employees for our hotels in the Dead Sea area. We are in constant need of employees to improve the quality of our services. We only hire the best. These past years, 47,000 migrants looking for a job but mostly seeking asylum have managed to enter Israel illegally, crossing the Egyptian border. Yeah, actually I'm released, but I don't know how, which kind of release. Yeah, you release me. I believe you are released me, I'm going to somewhere, but I'm not going to where I need to go. It's now I'm not feeling happy because when I, I be happy, I'm going to be in my country and then I be free. Yeah, I have a lot of, but you know. I am very happy that home, some of them you know? finally got to leave yeah. this place. But I know that a lot of others have already received a summons and have until the end of the month to show up at the detention center. Whether they came from Sudan, Eritrea or Congo, almost all of them are seeking refugee status. But Israel only grants the status to 1% of them. Of all the Western countries, Israel has the lowest rate of granting asylum.